So in this video, I want to talk about the mechanism of action of local anesthetics. So what do local anesthetics do? They block locally neurons. They numb neurons. They work mainly on afferent neurons so that you prevent a pain signal from getting to the central nervous system and that you feel pain. So all local anesthetics end on cane. The first local anesthetic discovered was cocaine and then followed by other canes, procaine, lidocaine, bupivacaine. So you can always easily recognize local anesthetics. It is also important to know that we have amides and esters. This has some relevance as amides are not as fast degraded in the body than esters, so generally the amide local anesthetics have a longer half-life than the esters. Another reason to know about amides versus esters is that a lot of people have hypersensitivity reactions against the ester local anesthetics. And if you are dealing with such a patient, you can still give an amide local anesthetics. So how do we distinguish between amides and esters? Well, that's very easy because all the amides have an eye in front of the cane and the esters do not have an eye in front of the cane. So you can easily figure out which one is an amide and which one is an ester local anesthetic. So how do the local anesthetics work? How do they numb the neurons? They act by blocking sodium channels. How do they get there? Remember, local anesthetics are weak bases. So I've written here the equilibrium equation. And as you can already predict, only the non-protonated, which is a non-charged form, is going to be able to pass through a lipophilic membrane. Within the cell, the pH is slightly more acidic, so we're going to have some protonation and therefore going to get some charged form. And now the important point is that only the charged local anesthetic, only the protonated form, will inactivate the sodium channel. So it goes from inside the cell and then blocks the sodium channel. It gets access when the sodium channel is in the open state. However, the inactivated state of the sodium channel is the one that the local anesthetic is then most tightly bound to and blocks it. So local anesthetics just block the sodium channel in the inactivated state and therefore block the signal propagation, particularly in pain fibers. This concludes the video on the mechanism of action of local anesthetics.